opportunity to say to people, there is something different to what's happening in these Western countries. They've got hospitals, they've got good education, they've got municipal housing, they look after their people. And rather than have the greed of capital, what they've said up there, we want something different and we want a socialist order society. So tonight this gives us an opportunity to have a good drink, a good dance, and to say that the Cuban people we celebrate for what they've done and achieved with all of the attacks that have taken place on them by the American government. Cuba was the first country in Latin America to break the Monroe Doctrine under which the President of the United States, the old one, President Monroe, claimed that the United States government really had control of the whole of that uh, continent. 129 times of the U.S. intervened in Latin American and Caribbean countries. If you were to ask the easy question, when did they intervene on behalf of the good guys, then you have to say it was Sam Peckinpah's movie, The Wild Bunch, but that wasn't the government that was sending them in there. With the uh, Cuban Revolution, that power was broken and Cuba became free, and by becoming free, it was able to devote itself to so many important things for the world, not least the health service, the provision of health care for people all over the world, and all that goes with the Cuban Revolution. 1.6 million people have had their eyesight restored as a result of operations conducted by Cuban medical staff absolutely free of any charge whatsoever. At the same time, more than 38,000 doctors and medics have traveled from Cuba to 76 countries across the world to provide health care free of charge. And we were told, weren't we, that when Fido Castro was taken ill, then the Cuban government would collapse. And it hasn't collapsed. It's continued in its same way. We were also told, remember, that uh, the Cuban government could not survive uh, a recession because they rely on tourism. The Cuban government is still surviving. More importantly, the people of Cuba are, are, are surviving. The Americans, have, as all comrades here know, been in, acted in an illegal blockade now for over 50 years. A blockade that is meant to throttle the living daylights out of the Cuban people. I had the opportunity to go to Cuba with Lee.